Betelgeuse, the red giant star on the edge of our galaxy, is sending alarming signals through space. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have found something deeply troubling about this colossal object. Well-known scientist Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is, are we about to witness a supernova explosion so huge that it will change the night sky forever? Let's jump right in. In the vastness of the universe, stars are born, live, and die in amazing ways. Recently, one star has caught the attention and concern of both astronomers and the general public. This star is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant that stands out in the constellation Orion. It is very big and very old. Its unique reddish color and changing brightness have long fascinated observers, but recent events have heightened interest in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we are on the verge of a potentially monumental event in its history. But what might these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we seeing the start of a cosmic show on an unimaginably grand scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant, about 764 times larger than our sun. It's so massive that if it were to replace our sun, its surface would extend beyond Mars' orbit, encompassing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This immense size not only highlights Betelgeuse's physical grandeur, but also indicates its stage in the stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. It is expanding and cooling during this phase, which follows the conversion of hydrogen into helium in its core. What about Betelgeuse's age? This star is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old, which is relatively young in human terms but ancient in the context of stellar lifespans. Over millions of years, it has transformed dramatically from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. Now in its final stage as a red supergiant, Betelgeuse's life story is reaching a pivotal moment. Stars like Betelgeuse change over their lifetimes due to the constant pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. Another aspect that makes Betelgeuse stand out is its unique reddish color. This red hue comes from its cooler surface compared to stars like our sun. The surface of the sun is about 5,500 Kelvin, while Betelgeuse's surface is around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at wavelengths that appear red to us. But this color isn't just about appearance. It reveals the star's physical state and the processes occurring within its vast gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Historical records from Roman and Chinese eras indicate that Betelgeuse was yellow about 2,000 years ago. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted it was red. This color shift over human history is not just a minor scientific fact but also evidence of the star's evolution. Another intriguing characteristic of Betelgeuse is its very variable brightness. As a semi-regular variable star, its brightness fluctuates on a periodic basis. This dance of brightness has fascinated scientists and sky watchers for centuries. Usually, Betelgeuse undergoes a 400-day cycle and a longer five-year cycle. Sir John Herschel documented these cycles as early as 1836, and Aboriginal folklore may contain references to them that go back even further. However, what truly makes Betelgeuse mysterious is its occasional deviation from this pattern. Unlike many stars that dim and brighten predictably, Betelgeuse sometimes behaves erratically, suggesting complex and less understood processes at work within its vast form. Recently, astronomers and stargazers worldwide were shocked by Betelgeuse's dramatic and unexpected dimming. This event, now known as the Great Dimming, began in late 2019. Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of Orion, started to lose its light at an alarming rate. By February 2020, it was at its dimmest. Betelgeuse, usually visible to the naked eye even in light-polluted areas, became much fainter, and even casual observers noticed the change. However, the time paradox complicates monitoring Betelgeuse's activities. Because light takes time to travel to us, we see Betelgeuse not as it is now but as it was in the past. The light we see today left the star almost 700 years ago because it is about 725 light years away. This time lag makes it hard to predict and observe quick changes in its behavior. The Betelgeuse dimming event was a reminder of how challenging it is to observe the sky in real time 
and how little we know about the vast, strange worlds of space and time. Andrea Dupree, Deputy Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely watched the events of Betelgeuse's celestial drama. As part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere, they used Hubble to observe the huge star. These observations provided new insights into how a variable star like Betelgeuse works. Variable stars regularly expand and contract, causing changes in their brightness. Researchers were able to look into the layers above the star's surface, heated in part by the star's swirling convection cells. Thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light, further study of the Hubble spectra taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 helped determine the velocity of material in Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. The spectra, mainly composed of magnesium and titanium lines, revealed the star's atmospheric conditions. The studies showed that material was moving from the star's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense material eventually reached millions of miles from Betelgeuse, initiating the dust cloud that dimmed the star. During the three months of the outburst, Dupree and her team estimated that about twice as much material as usual was ejected from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere. While all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss was particularly notable due to its rapid rate compared to the sun's. Astronomers speculated whether this event could be a precursor to a supernova explosion. Given the magnitude of the mass release and subsequent dimming, being only about 725 light years away from Earth, any such explosion would be visible from our planet, offering a rare chance to observe a supernova up close. However, the question remains what does this dimming mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign that the supernova is imminent, or is it just a transient event in the star's complex life? Several theories have been proposed to explain this rapid change. One popular theory suggests it might be a stage in the supernova explosion process, given that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another theory posits that dust, possibly ejected by the star itself, could be obstructing our view. Betelgeuse and other red supergiants are known to shed material, which could accumulate into a dust cloud thick enough to block the star's light. A third theory considers changes in the star's photosphere, the visible outer layer, which might affect its apparent brightness. Spectroscopic studies showed that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped, suggesting the presence of a large dark spot on its surface. This temperature decrease by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea, indicating significant changes on the star's surface. Ultimately, the Hubble Space Telescope, humanity's vigilant observer in space, helped unravel this strange event. Hubble's observations indicated that Betelgeuse's dimming was likely due to a massive ejection of hot material into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, reducing the light reaching us. It was hypothesized that the dust cloud was made of very hot plasma erupted from a large convection cell on the star's surface and moved through its hot atmosphere to cooler outer layers. As it cooled, it formed dust grains, creating a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. So what does this mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign that a supernova is about to happen, or just a fascinating chapter in the star's long, complex life? Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2019, played a crucial role in understanding the events that led to Betelgeuse's dimming. These studies showed signs of dense, hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere. Several ground-based telescopes also observed the star's dimming in December 2019, especially in its southern half. Initially, this ejected material was brighter than the star itself but as it moved outward and cooled, it formed a dark cloud. The prevailing idea is that this outflowing matter and the resultant dark cloud caused the sudden dimming of the star. This massive ejection is significant, positioning Betelgeuse at the center of astronomical studies. The star expelled about 400 billion times the mass typically ejected during a normal coronal mass ejection. This ejected material, weighing several times as much as the moon, provides significant insights into stellar processes and Betelgeuse's behavior. But what does such a massive explosion of matter mean for our understanding of Betelgeuse and supernovas in general? It has profound implications for theories about supernovas. 
Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are believed to lose mass at a steady rate before they explode at the end of their lives. However, the magnitude of this ejection challenges that idea, suggesting a more turbulent and possibly unpredictable end-of-life scenario for the stars. Could Betelgeuse be gearing up for its grand finale? While we're all still here on Earth, this massive star's fate will unfold as it reaches the end of its life. As astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse, the star's recent behavior has raised intriguing questions about its future. The dimming event observed in late 2019 and early 2020 was unprecedented in recent history. While variable stars like Betelgeuse are known for their brightness fluctuations, the extent and rapidity of this dimming caught many by surprise. This event prompted intense scrutiny and speculation within the astronomical community. One of the key questions that emerged from the dimming event is whether it could be a harbinger of a supernova explosion. Supernovae are among the most powerful and cataclysmic events in the universe, marking the explosive deaths of massive stars. For a star like Betelgeuse, which is nearing the end of its life cycle as a red supergiant, a supernova is a plausible outcome. However, predicting exactly when such an event might occur is challenging. Betelgeuse's distance from Earth adds another layer of complexity to studying its behavior. Located approximately 725 light-years away in the constellation Orion, observations of Betelgeuse provide a window into the past. Light from the star takes over seven centuries to reach us, meaning that we see Betelgeuse not as it is today, but as it appeared hundreds of years ago. This time delay complicates efforts to monitor and understand rapid changes in the star's brightness and other characteristics. The recent dimming of Betelgeuse was particularly notable because it reached a level of faintness unseen in modern times. Amateur astronomers and professionals alike noted the star's conspicuous change in brightness, sparking widespread interest and speculation. Some observers wondered whether Betelgeuse might be in the initial stages of a prolonged dimming phase or if the event was a transient anomaly. In addition to visible light observations, Astronomers used various telescopes and instruments to study Betelgeuse across different wavelengths. Ultraviolet and infrared observations provided complementary insights into the star's atmosphere and surrounding environment. These observations are crucial for piecing together the complex dynamics at play within a star as massive and evolved as Betelgeuse. The dimming event also shed light on the mechanisms through which massive stars like Betelgeuse lose mass. Understanding these processes is essential for modeling stellar evolution and predicting the fate of other red supergiants in the universe. Betelgeuse's mass loss rate, estimated to be significantly higher than that of our Sun, underscores the dynamic nature of stars in the late stages of their lives. While Betelgeuse's recent dimming captured headlines and scientific attention, the star's variability is not a new phenomenon. Historically, Astronomers and skywatchers have documented Betelgeuse's changes in brightness and color over centuries. Ancient records from different cultures provide valuable insights into how the star appeared and behaved in the distant past. These historical observations contribute to our understanding of Betelgeuse's long-term variability and evolution. Looking ahead, astronomers will continue to monitor Betelgeuse for signs of further changes. The star's recent dimming event has demonstrated the value of long-term observational studies and international collaboration in astronomy. Telescopes and observatories around the world will remain focused on Betelgeuse, ready to capture and analyze any future developments. The study of Betelgeuse is not only about understanding the life cycle of stars, but also about exploring fundamental astrophysical processes. As one of the largest and brightest stars visible from Earth, Betelgeuse offers a unique opportunity to study the physics of stellar atmospheres, mass loss mechanisms, and the dynamics of supernova precursors. Beyond its scientific significance, Betelgeuse holds a cultural and symbolic place in human history. Named after the mischievous character from folklore, the star's prominence in the night sky has inspired artists, writers, and storytellers throughout history. Its distinctive reddish hue and variable brightness have made it a celestial object of fascination and wonder. In conclusion, Betelgeuse continues to captivate astronomers and the public alike with its dramatic changes and potential for future supernova activity. The recent dimming event highlighted the star's dynamic nature and raised important questions about its evolutionary path. While much remains to be understood about Betelgeuse's future, 
ongoing observations and advances in astronomical technology promise to unlock new insights into this cosmic giant and its role in the universe.